back guys. Born and raised back today. We're in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee and we're at the Colonial House Motel here in Pigeon Forge right off the parkway guys. I'm going to show you this hotel and the room that we have. We actually have a jacuzzi fireplace king suite room. We're going to show you that room. It's actually got a balcony looking over the parkway. It is on third floor. But guys, I'm just going to take you around the outside here and show you some things outside first. It does have an indoor pool and an outdoor pool. The outdoor pool is shut down for the season. It is Thanksgiving weekend. And the indoor pool is 24-7, and I think it is heated as well. So guys, we're just going to show you around and then take you to the room. So guys, this is the Colonial House Motel. It's one of the older ones here in town, but it is very well maintained. They have definitely upkept it very well. It is very clean. As we have found out, we went and looked around at the room and such. Guys, they're very accommodated. Accommodations here are very good. There is a little gazebo thing out here and a fire pit in the parking lot out toward the front toward the parkway so you can sit out here at night with your fire pit and watch the traffic go by on the parkway guys or if it's during rod run watch the rods go by or jeep amazing right here is the outdoor pool area like i said it is closed i think i don't know if it is or not okay it is closed and in the corner of the building is the indoor pool i don't think like i said the outdoor pool is closed but it is quite large it's got a lot of room like i said it is closed but that is the outdoor pool they got some slides and one of the umbrella sprinkler things for their pool when it is open as you can see and we're going to take you over i'm just going to show you the indoor pool okay guys we're going to come on down through toward the indoor pool area and i'll take you up to the room and show you guys this is straight across the parkway from the whispering pines condo so guys i'm just trying to show you that and i don't know i was trying to find out to see if they had public restrooms I'm not sure for the pool area I do not see any public restrooms for the pool area guys I think that you have to go to your room for that so it doesn't look like it from anything that I can tell I'm using the stairs we're like I said on third floor there is an elevator that is in the back corner behind the indoor pool so that you can use it if you don't can't use stairs it's still handicap accessible and to get luggage and such to the room to make that much easier but we are coming up to the room and wonder which wife is waiting on us at the room okay 301 overlooking the parkway All right, guys, coming in, like I said, king, jacuzzi, and fireplace sweep, and that is your fireplace lit, guys, so for a cold winter evenings or mornings, you have your fireplace. I'm going to turn this back off because right now it's 70 some degrees. We do not need a fire going. Guys, be very careful though with this. This is the only drawback that I do have with this fireplace. Just be very careful about reaching your hand in here to turn that off. Right, guys, that will come. Like I said, got the king bed. But guys, like I said here, they have the jacuzzi tub in this room. Got the mirrors all around it and such. Uh, your bathroom, nice and clean, plenty of room. Uh, plenty of towels and washcloths. Sink is outside like most are. Uh, 
good size refrigerator and a microwave. I like the fact it does have the big freezer because if you carry a cooler like we do with ice packs, you have somewhere to put it. Or if you just simply have a kid that doesn't want to eat a restaurant, that wants a little kids cuisine TV dinner, you've got somewhere to throw it to keep it for them. So guys, I will take you to have their phone in the room. And you also have a closet back here in a little cubby beside the jacuzzi. Uh, your ironing board, iron, a couple extra blankets, some hangers, and such. The room is pretty good size. And right there is something you don't normally have in most hotel rooms is an overhead light. You just have lamps around everywhere. I do like the overhead light factor. It's not a must, but if you want it or need it, at least it's there. So I will take you and show you the balcony. You've got your little table with your two chairs and your sliding glass door out to your balcony, which there's nobody can even get to this balcony because it is on the top floor and it does not go anywhere on either side. Nobody can get here without coming into the room from the room door. Like I said, Colonial House Motel, you can see the parkway, uh, Corky's Barbecue and Golden Corral is straight across the parkway from us. The subway, um, several other things. You have Reagan's House of Pancakes is across the street and a BP gas station. Um, you also have one of these souvenir shops right here to the left of it. But guys, you got a humongous balcony. I mean, look at this balcony. Absolutely huge. Guys, you can sit here peacefully on an evening of a rod run or Jeep invasion and watch the Jeeps, watch the hot rods running up and down the parkway and just enjoy your evening. Or sit here and watch it snow in the wintertime, guys. When it's snowing, it'd be really pretty. But like I said right there, I'll show you another outside view. You can tell, literally, there is no way to get to this balcony other than from this room. I mean, it falls straight off on either end. I mean, it doesn't fall off. It's got a rail around it. I mean, you're not going to fall. But you cannot get to this balcony like a lot do from balcony to balcony on a lot of these hotels. And guys, I will show you, there's a little side road right here to the left behind it. And you're looking at Patriot Park beside the old mill where they do the 4th of July fireworks. And so guys, that is the Colonial House Motel on the parkway in Pigeon Forge. We will give you our review on the place after our stay, at the end of our stay. So guys, I hope you enjoyed me going through and showing you, but I will get back with you at the end of our stay on it. All right, guys, we've been staying here at the Colonial House Motel in Pigeon Forge here for the Thanksgiving weekend. And I showed you the room and such through the daytime and everything and everything outside of the building and down at the office. And I showed you the fireplace when we came into the room through the daytime and showed you how you get into it and how you turn it on and operate it and stuff and just uh, be cautious of how you do it because you have to get inside to the uh, controls for the gas logs. But I wanted to show you a nighttime view of that fireplace lit. And right there it is, guys. That is barely, that ain't even a quarter turn on the control adjustment for the fireplace for the gas logs to operate. It is really, really nice. I mean, it, it really is. It doesn't put off an extreme amount of heat because there is no blower. I think with that much flame, if you did have a blower, this room would get extremely hot very fast. I think you'd have it up to 80, 90 degrees in a matter of minutes. But guys, I just wanted to share the fireplace with you. All right, guys. We're back here at the Colonial House Motel at the end of our stay. Guys, I just wanted to tell you, if you're in town, definitely check them out. It is a good place to stay. 
I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% positive about the other rooms, but I would say if it's good on the king size fireplace, jacuzzi suites are as good, that good. I figure the rest of the rooms are really good. The staff is nice. The rooms are super clean. Super, super clean. When you walk into the rooms, they are, you can smell the cleaner and the cleanliness. Super it's not, nice. It's not overpowering, the cleaner ain't, but it's enough to let you know they do take the trouble and the pains to clean everything like they should. It so has that clean smell of walking into your grandma's house. Yep. Guys, I did go check out the Continental Breakfast uh, the other morning. Uh, they do have a good accommodations there for you guys. Uh, you can get biscuits and gravy, you can get toast, uh, you can make waffles, you can get bagels, juice, fruits, coffee, hot chocolate, such as that. And like I said, it is, it is accommodating, it is good. Uh, they're very friendly to the staff is and everything and very helpful. They will help you with any questions that you have So guys, I will definitely stay here again. Actually, we're booked here again for another weekend in the future So guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog uh, Give it a thumbs up. Also ring that bell so you can give you notifications Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so so far and if you're new here We do upload Monday Wednesday and Friday 8 a.m. Live so guys, I hope you enjoyed all this at the Colonial House Motel. Check them out. On the Parkway, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And it's the one Weasel signing off.